there are those wise souls who remind us that the greatness of the golden rule is matched only by the difficulty involved in living it. Buddhism, treat not others in ways that you yourself would find hurtful. Christianity, in everything, do unto others as you would have them do unto you, for this is the law and the prophets. Baha'i faith, lay not on any soul a load that you may not wish to be laid upon you. Hinduism, this is the sum of duty. Do not do to others what would cause pain if done to you. Confucianism, one word that sums up the basis of all good conduct, loving kindness. Do not do to others what you do not want done to yourself. Jainism, one should treat all creatures of the world as one would like to be treated. Unitarianism, we affirm and promote respect for the interdependent web of all existence of which we are a part. Native spirituality, we are as much alive as we keep the earth alive. Islam, not one of you truly believes until you wish for others what you wish for yourself. The golden rule of Judaism is, what is hateful to you, do not do to your neighbors. This is the whole Torah. All the rest is commentary. Go and learn it. Sikhism, I'm a stranger to no one, and no one is a stranger to me. Indeed, I'm a friend to all. Regard your neighbor's gain as your own gain, and your neighbor's loss as your own loss. Do not do to others whatever is injurious to yourself. We are as much alive as we keep the earth alive. In everything, do to others as you would have them do to you. There are also those wise souls who remind us that knowledge of the golden rule comes not with study, but with practice.